A superfluid is a specific kind of liquid that flows with absolutely zero viscosity. If you're unfamiliar with the term viscosity, it's basically just a liquid's resistance to flowing. So, like, honey would have a lot higher viscosity than water because it's a lot thicker, and it moves a lot slower. So a liquid with zero viscosity would be able to climb walls and do all kinds of crazy weird stuff. Now the Bose-Einstein condensate is actually a specific kind of superfluid. The reason superfluids are allowed to have zero viscosity is because of the same property as the Bose-Einstein condensate, where all of the particles form one giant singular wave function. Viscosity is typically caused by small random particles not doing what they're supposed to, and if every particle has the exact same wave function, that completely gets cancelled out, allowing superfluids to have no viscosity. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Bose-Einstein condensates can form superfluids, but the most common superfluid is actually helium. Now, helium is very interesting because it has a relatively large quantum wavelength. And since it's a noble gas, if you cool it down to extremely low temperatures, it still remains a liquid. But it can still form that Bose-Einstein condensate because if you add up all the particles that make up a helium-4 isotope, they actually add up to having a total spin of zero. Now we know that zero is an integer, which means that helium-4 can actually become a Bose-Einstein condensate. Now having a stable superconducting liquid with zero viscosity is insanely useful for so many different applications. Not just research around, you know, temperatures or whatever, but it's also used in like superconductors and sensitive gyroscopes and space applications and- Sorry, this is turning into a helium in one minute video. 